catches Suge's eye. So Shug is like, hey. So he's trying to talk to Shug. So Shug was like, excuse me. Dude was like, get back. Don't touch me. I was like, oh, shit. Shug said, hey, man, I'm, I'm on the list, man. Watch out. Nick said, you watch out. That was all she wrote. <laughs> Choked him out. <laughs> Beat this big motherfucker up. Shug whooped his ass. Beat I was like, right oh, there. shit. And kept stomping him. Like, dude's down on the ground. He just, oh, we had to. Yeah, me and DOC ain't that big. We can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's, what, what, what club was that? The Palace. That was the Palace. The Palace on Vine near Hollywood. And he stumped out. He stumped, stumped him out. Him out. Oh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. <laughs> what did you think when uh, when when uh, Tupac uh, actually came and when he came to death row? And, and and that whole movement of him getting out of prison, because I was like, did Jimmy Iovine get him out? I know I'm hearing, I heard that you know both of them they collectively got him out, but to see him come to the West Coast and them drop uh, California Love. And 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 come out hard like they did with two different videos. I mm -hmm. think it was two different videos. Um, yeah, he did the remix. Layla did what, the remix. Yeah, what did you think about that? I I I, I thought uh, I worked with Tupac before all that. Oh, oh, you Digital Underground. I played. No, nah, he was um, Me Against the World. Right around that time. Right, right that time. after that album. Okay. He had um, Thug Life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure did. And so I played. So he'd be at Echo Sound. I ended up playing bass for uh, for a couple of songs, but he would he would uh, he's he, he that dude is he's ridiculously talented. He's probably the most talented rapper, period, ever. Cause he'll he'll he be like, all right, what, what's the, what's the, what's the song about? All right, and go in there and lay that shit, and then double it, do exactly like how he just did it, cause he just wrote it. Them songs you hear, he probably did it in like five minutes. I was like, God, he would this fool. He's a fool, and he'd just be like, I'm done. I'm gone. See y'all niggas later. He'll pin it that fast and be out. He did a verse for uh, E-40. I was in the studio and I was playing Miss Pac-Man. So I, I was on the first level, boop, boop, doo, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. He walked past me and I was like, oh shit. I said, well, let me finish this game. I'm thinking he's gonna be there for a minute. I'll, I'll catch up with them niggas later. I probably got to the, the blue level yeah. and he was done walking out. Damn. And I thought he was just going to the car and he forgot something. He couldn't have been done that fast. And everybody's in there going, God damn, oh shit, you hear that shit? Oh God damn. I was like, what the fuck? I ran in there. They're like, damn, and they play that shit. I was like, damn, and nigga lay this shit already? You see, he wrote that shit right in my face. 40 was tripping. He, and he wrote that shit and got on. He gone. I see, he left. I was like, damn, it had been five, ten minutes. Wow. So you dealt with He's stupid, man. Man. But, but I think the the one other part that 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 it was his demise. Shug, I was fucking with Shug in the '90s. I've been mean, fucking with Shug, Big West. A lot of it's a lot of gangsters who who was going around. Now they got money too. And they feel like they got power and they got all this influence. I hear everybody down to do whatever to be with him. That they just monsters. So he would a mon. He was the biggest monster. He was Shug. He was the biggest monster with all this money, death row, and he got all the hitters from fresh out of jail, his homies and shit. He was just like they just do anything, talk crazy and everything. So they pump. Uh, Tupac up because Tupac quiet. Tupac ain't he the was quiet. He ain't the, the, the dude you saw like when he came out of jail. He quiet. If you if he was here, he'd be in the corner somewhere. He's he's chill. I've always seen him in clubs. After I play bass, we kind of knew each other. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, he did. Um, uh, what's his movie? He did. Uh, uh, Gridlock. No, nah, he he was Bishop. Oh yeah yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I got CRS. You know what I'm saying? Bishop, you know, uh, the one... Uh, he was the killer. He was, he was the killer. killer he was Bishop on there. The first movie he did, the with one Omar, that... Omar, uh, what's that one Omar that Omar Epps was in there, but what's the name? He said he... he uh, uh, Juice. 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 So, Juice just came out. He didn't even know Shug. I know Shug. I knew Tupac. Them niggas was not talking to each other. They didn't know each other. And, and, and at that time, but Shug was a super monster, you know what I'm saying? But Tupac was quiet, off in the cut. Nobody knew who Tupac was like that. Wow. And so he just in the cut. He had his little bright orange and everything, but he just laid off in so the you cut. So were, were he was cool. Were, so were they around they, each other during that time? They didn't even... In the same area. Okay. They, it was like one of those um, uh, Jack the Rappers or yeah, some kind yeah. of music convention. Uh, I knew who everybody was, but he didn't know Shug. You know what I'm saying? 
but he was quiet. My point is, when he did get to know Suge and he did get out of jail, now he's out here turning up and man, we fucking these motherfuckers up and we just that and the other. You know what I'm saying? That's how he got involved with a, a boy um, who snatched uh, Orlando. Yeah, Orlando. They whooped his ass because he 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 snatched somebody's chain or something like Tried that. Tried to Tupac say something. like, oh, we going you know what I'm saying? We gonna beat him up. And that wasn't Tupac like that. You know what I'm saying? Not that far as I know. I don't, I ain't gonna say like I know him, know him like that. Well, it's hard for me to say that because he did shoot two undercover cops before this. Yeah, he ain't no punk, but he wouldn't go around. He just, wasn't just looking for looking, the problem. Looking for the problem, right? That yeah. part. Yeah. He wasn't no punk. He had no punk in him, but he he wasn't the type. I don't think. And I think in that environment, because even Snoop, Snoop, who's laid back, was like, yeah, nigga, fuck Uncle uh, uh, Luke, and yeah, nigga, and easy. But you talk to Snoop now, he he like, nigga, I love them niggas. Puffy, I love them niggas. But he had to run with Death Row, and, had, and you got to kind of follow with Suge's on. And that's that L.A. shit. You know, you, if I don't fuck with somebody, you don't fuck with So me. when Suge was doing, because uh, Suge was, was Suge, like, he rolled with the Pyrus and bumped him, wasn't he? Yeah. So what's the difference between the Pyrus and just the regular Bloods? Is it just the areas? Just the areas. The whole gang shit is just location. That's all it is? That's it. So when you think about the, the, the Suge, that was that run because they say he played sports early on. He was playing for Las Vegas for uh, so that should was know, more he, of a conservative, just playing ball. He wasn't banging then. He I don't I don't I met Shug at the beginning. He was doing security for my homeboy Wes, who was like my first manager. And so Wes was doing this super fest. Um, and he was head of security, so he would hire Shug. Yeah, and so Shug. Me and Sugar had to roll together to get into the super fast together. Wow. So I was with Sugar all the time. He a big motherfucker. Um, what was those conversations like? Sugar was like Sugar to me. Um, he to me he, he's bipolar because he can be super nice. He like oh y'all y'all family come on man come on to my house or if you happen to be in the mall you want to watch you want a Rolex or you want to eat I'm treating all y'all 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 come on he super cool. It's your mama. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I want to eat. A Rolex uh, watch? Eating is different, but a Rolex watch? Sugar, super cool. And that money. But he can flip. He'll That's flip. That's why I got it backed up. He, you've seen him flip? I've seen him flip. What, I, when did you see him flip? A bunch of times. When? Nigga. Give me an instance. Ooh. So, look, it's funny. You, you I interviewed DLC. So yeah, I, I just hang, interviewed him. I was at him with, so he was managing DLC. Yeah, he was. So, me, DLC, and Sugar would hang out at clubs. And so it was the palace. It was Public Enemy performing, and so he said, "Meet me up at the palace. We we go. I'll get y'all. That's what she said. I'll get y'all in." So I get up there first, and security's like, "Yeah, man, uh, we ain't gonna let this person in, this person in, this person or Suge." So then Suge and then DLC rolled up, and, they, and, she, and DLC's a samurai. So they parked. I went over there. I said, "Hey, man, these niggas talking about they gonna let you in." Wow. And so we went around to the backstage, and then she was trying to get in. He was like, "Nah, we told we was told not to get you in." She was like, "I'm on the list." Boop, 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 boop. He said, "We gotta go to the front." So me, DLC, and Suge walked to the front. There's some big country, swole, buff, bodybuilder looking nigga in a suit. So he's talking to the guy with the list, and the guy with the list is telling him, "You know, you're not on the list, bro. You know, go on so I can, you know, get whatever." And so he catches Suge's eye. So Suge is like, "Hey." So he's trying to talk to Suge. So Suge was like, excuse me. Dude was like, get back. Don't touch me. I was like, oh, shit. Suge said, hey, man, I'm, I'm on the list, man. Watch out. Nigga said, you watch out. That was all she wrote. <laughs> Choked him out. <laughs> Beat this big butt motherfucker. Suge whooped his ass. Beat him right there. I was like, oh, shit. And kept stomping him. Like, Wouldn't dude's stop. down the ground. He just, oh, we had to. Yeah, me and DOC ain't that big. We can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's, what, what, what club was that? The Palace. That was the Palace. The Palace on Vine near Hollywood. And he stumped out. He stumped, stumped him out. Him out. Oh. But all y'all tall. You tall. DLC no tall. Y'all could have hold him and pull him off. We trying. We trying. Shook big as hell. Shook big. How big he's is he? He's 6'4". I was in the He was a lineman. Yeah. Imagine okay. them big old dudes playing football. He was a lineman. He was big as hell. And yeah. strong. He daily mm -hmm. plays all his time. So he stomped so he him out. He was solid. Stomped him out. What did the other guys do? They were, they didn't do nothing. I mean, everybody looking scared. I mean, you ain't gonna stop Suge. And Suge going, and this is a young Suge. Yeah, so he ain't trying. This to is hear. athlete. You know. So what he saying? just stopped because he wanted to stop. Yeah, it he, wasn't like y'all yeah. stopped him. But he stopped it. Did he? Like, yeah, y'all seriously stopped. He's, like, he's down. Like nigga, you got him. Did y'all leave after that? They left after they that. Y'all the leave. Out. Police come after y'all. Uh, we left that quick. I don't know. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.